Hello, my name is Liang Yuan. My project name is a text independent speaker recognition system. The outline of the presentation is shown below. First, I will introduce about the speaker recognition, and the next one is approaches of the speaker recognition. Next is performance evaluation, and at last, the conclusion. For the introduction, we know that humans are able to tell the differences between different speakers, and we can do this mainly by their voices. How to teach a machine to do the same thing? This area is called the speaker recognition. It is the computational task of validating a user's identity based on their voice. There are numerical applications in this area, including forensics, security gateway, and service providing verification. Here is the hierarchy of the speaker recognition. Basically, speaker recognition can be divided into two parts. First is speaker identification, and the next one is speaker verification. For speaker identification, the task is to tell who is the testing speaker is and compare the testing speaker feature data with the whole training data library. And for speaker verification, it performs mainly like a password that can tell whether the test speaker is authentic or fake. Another classification is text dependent or text independent. For text dependent, the training stage and testing stage need to be identical. And for text independent, there's no requirement on the text. In this project, we mainly focus on the text independent speaker identification. Here is the general speaker recognition system. We first input the speech data and do the feature extraction. After that, we can get a we can get a feature vector and then we enter into the training stage. In this stage, we can get the speaker models to represent the features. And the next, we will do the test. In the testing stage, we will recognize the testing features and do the matching between the testing data with the training speaker models. And then we will enter into the decision stage, which will, which will decide who is the speaker. The approaches in this project. Basically, in the feature extract, extraction stage, people mainly use two approaches. First is linear predictive sexual coefficients, LPCC, and the next is male frequency sexual coefficients, MFCC. In this project, we mainly use MFCC because basically MFCC has a much better performance over LPCC, and I will give you an example later. The MFCC is one of the most commonly used feature extraction method in speech recognition. The male frequency filter bank is a series of triangular bandpass filters. The filter bank is based on a nonlinear frequency scale called the male scale. And the MFCCs will be calculated using this formula. This is the theoretical method, but how do we how do we calculate the MFCC in a real system? First, we will do the pre-emphasis. This is to flatten the data and to con to increase the accuracy, and then we will enter into a Hamming window, which will re reduce the Gibbs effect, and then to do the DFT. Actually, in this project, we will use the FFT to change the time domain data into the frequency domain data. And then we will use the uh, male scale filters to generate the power spectrum, and then to do a logarithm. At last, we will do the DCT to remove the signal correlation and map the signal to low dimensional space. 
in that case, the MFCC will be get through the system. Next, we will enter into the training stage and the testing stage. Basically, in this project, we will use vector quantization, VQ, and the Gaussian mixture models in GMM as the two methods. For VQ, it is a classical quantization technique from signal processing which allows the modeling of probability density functions by the distribution of pro prototype vectors. We will use the LBG algorithm to do the VQ method. First is to increase each central sensitivity by a small amount and then pick a sample point at random find the quantization vector centroid with the smallest dn and remove the uh, and move the chosen centroid toward the sample point by a small fraction of the distance the last is to set the chosen centroid sensitivity to zero these steps will be repeated until codebook containing m code, word, code words for gmm method the M order GMM is the model that uses M single Gaussian weighted distribution linear combination to describe the frame's features distribution on the feature space. The parameter set lambda contains the coefficients alpha and the means mu and the covariances. In the GMM methods, we will use EM algorithm to calculate. The EM algorithm calculate mean value through E step and change the model parameters to maximize the target function to reach to convergence in M step. Here are the re-estimation formula of mixed weight and means and variances. At last, we will enter into the dis decision stage. For VQ, we will use Euclidean distance to measure the difference between training data and testing data and uh, find the minimum. For GMM method, we will calculate the negative a posteriori, a posteriori probabilities applied to GMM models and find the minimum of absolute value. Now, we will enter into the performance evaluation. First, we will give the evaluation of the system developed in this project, including graphic and numerical results. Second, we will discuss the different parameters influencing the approaches. Here is the MFCC result. On the left side is the waveform of the speaker one. And on the left and on the right side is the male scale filter banks graphs. Here is the power spectrum of different frames number and different coefficients number. We can see that although these parameters may change may change dramatically, and but the MFCC performs good enough, and the waveform we can compare to the original is satisfying. And here is a scatter plot of the acoustic vectors between signal 1 and signal 2. And the x axis is fifth dimension, and the, sixth dim and the y axis is the sixth dimension. We can see that the, the speaker 1 and speaker 2 are all females, however, the MFCC features are quite different. Now we enter into the training results. On the left side is the VQ method that we compare the codebook of speaker 1 and the codebook of speaker 2. The x-axis is 5th dimension and the y-axis is 6th dimension. We can see the differences quite clear. And uh, on the right hand is the GMM models comparison. Um, the parameter is the mu of GMM models between GMM models 1 and speaker 2. 
since the, we only use four order GMM to fit and so the x axis is three dimension and the y axis is four dimension. Still the differences is quite clear. Here is the decision results of VQ. The bolded uh, numbers is the decision that uh, is the minimum of dis distances. The column is testing, testing data and the row is training data. We can see the distances in here. And the next one is the decision results of GMM models, which is the negative a post posteriori probabilities. Still the results is the same as the VQ results. Next, we will compare the LPCC and MFCC. Here is uh, our, here is the study of the LPCC and MFCC under different SNR. We can see that for a low SNR, the LPCC will have a very bad performance and the recognition accuracy is below 50%. But for MFCC, the accuracy is still over half. So we can say that MFCC has a better performance over LPCC. And the next is the comparison between VQ and the GMM. The left side is the number of mixture components or code words over recognition performance. Here in the VQ, we use 20 coefficients, and in the GMM, we use four orders. So we can see that the both of the methods can reach to over 90% accuracy. And the on the right hand is the table of amount of training speech and the correct accuracy between VQ and GMM. We can see that as long as the training speech is long enough, the correct accuracy is near 100%. Conclusion. In this project, we achieve a high accuracy and the processing time is under control. Furthermore, the differences between VQ and GMM are also studied. However, the project also needs some improvements. For example, to create a GUI of this system, which then will be more like a practical program. So here is the presentation of this project. Now we enter to the program demo. We first have to put the workplace, workplace in under the PRM path files as it is performed under these files. The training data will in the train folders and the test data is in the test folders. First, we will evaluate the VQ. And first, we will train in the data. Here we enter the path of the train data and we enter the number of training data. As you can see that we read into 10 training data and the answer is 20 times 16 codebooks. 